We are Camelot Motion Control. Hi, I'm Matt from Camelot Motion Control and in this video I'm going to show you how to measure a gas spring. Now the reason you might want to do this is because you have a gas spring or a lift support fitted to a piece of machinery, it's no longer lifting as high as it once was. You might be looking at this because you're interested in fitting one to your car or to a motorhome. Whatever the reason, we'll explain to you how to do this. Measuring a gas spring is a really simple thing to do, but in order to do it properly, you will need a couple of tools. So to do this, you'll need a verlier, you'll need a tape measure, and something to write down the measurements that you take. Of course, it's a lot easier if you have a copy of our gas spring equivalent form, which you can download from our website at camlock.com. We'll start by measuring the rod diameter. This will be a round number, and it will be in millimetres. Typically, it will be 6, 8, 10 or 14 millimetres. In this case, 8 millimetres. We then need to measure the tube diameter. Again, this will be in millimetres, and it will also be a round number. Usually for gas spring manufacturers, this will be 15, 18, 23 or 28 millimetres. In our example, 18 millimetres. Once we have these measurements, we'll then measure the stroke of the spring. Now to do this, you'll need the tape measure. And what we're going to do here is measure this length of the spring from the end of the end fitting to the start of the tube. Now it's really useful here if the end fittings are fitted, if you just back them off a couple of turns as it gives you a nice hard stop to measure from. Once we have this measurement, we then need to measure the extended length of the gas spring. Now, assuming the spring still has some force left in it, it will be fully extended. If it has lost all force, however, what you need to do is pull it fully extended. Now, our example here, we have end fittings fitted to it. Your gas spring might not. If it's the case it has end fittings in place, we measure from centre to centre of the end fitting. Now, a little tip here, rather than trying to measure from the midpoint to the midpoint, this you're, you're essentially guessing what you're trying to do here. What we measure is from one end to the other end of it. If your gas spring doesn't have any end fittings fitted, we'll measure from the plain end of the rod here to the end of the tube here. Having got this information, the final piece of information we then need is the force of the gas strut. All manufacturers will have these printed on their springs. You'll have a series of numbers followed by the letter N for November at the end. In this case, on this spring, it's here. And there you have it, how to measure a standard compression gas strut in one easy lesson. If you do have any features on your gas strut that you don't see in this example, for instance, a shroud, or maybe it's a locking gas strut, please make a note of this on the equivalent form that you send to us because it's not a standard gas spring in that case. Hope you found this video useful, and if you have, Please subscribe, like and share. Thank you very much.